Was it appropriate for Speaker Johnson to show up at uh, the trial of the former president today? So look, I'm, I can't speak to, uh, um, don't want to comment, obviously, as this is related to 2024 elections, and I can't speak to the speaker's uh, schedule. That is something for him to decide on. His schedule. Yeah, you know, with the debates that are forthcoming, too. Woohoo! Welcome back to the show. Dana Lash with you. All right, so I wanted to play. This is audio soundbite five. And again, welcome back, Dana Lash, bottom of this second hour. Because they've got the debates supposed to be coming. The campaign spokesperson for Biden, Michael Tyler, he says this is what the debate should be in. Listen, this is what the parameters he's giving. This is five. Listen, I think the Trump campaign made their proposal very clear when Donald Trump said he'd be willing to debate anytime, anywhere, any place. Uh, and so what we want and what we have laid out is that we want to do this sooner rather than later. We should do it in June after his criminal trial is likely to have concluded and after the president returns from the G7 summit. Uh, it should be, yes, in studio uh, with no audience so that the candidates can clearly articulate uh, their vision for the country. Free is an audience a deal breaker? Is, it, and then we is, should... an audi- is an audience a deal breaker for you? Listen, it's Donald Trump who said he would do this anytime, anywhere, any place. So I don't think that they should have any problems with what, with what we have proposed. He's the one who said he's ready to go. Um, so we should be set to go once we have proposals in from networks. Uh, we're excited to debate. The question mm-hmm. is, will Donald Trump accept it? So there have been people floating like, oh, they should have it in you know, two separate rooms. And then they, you should be able to mute them and they, you know, a clock in front of them. Yeah. Because do you think it's but I don't know. Do you guys let's be honest. You guys aren't watching this to see who is more sentient. You're not watching this to have someone defend their policies because you already know both of these guys are have the office before, you know, at this point. I don't get the people who are like, "Mm, I don't know. I just don't know what I want to do, Kane. I just don't know who I want. I mean, they've both been in office before, so I just don't know. You're watching the debate because you want to see someone get made fun of and someone forget their train of thought mid-sentence. I want to see how much truth is actually exposed in these debates. I have to tell you, when I was the token at CNN, this was back in 2012, it was the primary, the GOP primary at that time. And this was right after, remember when Rick Perry had, I, and by the way, I really like Governor Perry. Uh, he was so excited when he found out over 10 years ago that we were moving to Texas. He gave us a big old bear hug. I've, I, I think uh, Governor Perry is a, is a good one. And uh, he served in uh, energy under the Trump administration, you know, governor of Texas. And when he was running for president, he had just literally had back surgery, not even a week before the infamous debate where he forgot the third thing. And I remember being backstage uh, at CNN and they were finish, putting the final touches on uh, they were going through the production staff that was going to, they were uh, going through, because the the back, the the backstage area can be completely chaotic and nutty, and there's certain places you can enter and certain places you got to exit, and it's crazy, and then there's there's the room for the candidates, and then each candidate has their own space, and then you got the room for the analysts, which were us, and we were, you know, we were all back there, um, so it can be a little crazy, and you have everyone's entourage with a political candidate and their security, so we were there. And I, I, I can't I think this was in D.C. This debate was in D.C. But I remember they put up a ramp because they had just like three little steps, right, to get up to the stage. And they put up a little ramp with a handrail back there. And I thought that was unusual. And I, I can't remember if I was back there uh, with Carville or if it was Brazil. I was also back there with Ari Fleischer. Ari Fleischer was a contributor at the same time I was. Maybe it was Fleischer. But I was with someone, and I go, well, that seems unusual. And they said, somebody must have an injury or something. Nobody knew that Rick Perry had back surgery. So when he came up, I think that was for him so he could better easily get on the stage without having to lift his. Because it, it's not that there were a lot of steps, but they were kind of steep. They were weird little, they were weird stairs. Like they had cautioned us women in heels to be careful because we had to walk up those stairs to the side to get down to the front when we were doing our hits on commercial breaks, right? And um, they had, you know, a little highlighter tape on them to mark because it was all coarse and black. And I, it was like for him. So he had literally had 
back surgery right before he went out there. And I still think he, I mean, I still think he performed well. He forgot the third thing uh, uh, when he was talking to Ron Paul and everybody gave him hell for it. But he literally had just had surgery. And I think of what was done there. What do you have to do for somebody like Biden who has to have a ramp? That man can barely take stairs. What in the world? How is that going to work? They should, are they, my friend Dave Burge asked if they were going to have a, like a stare off, like for UFC or a boxing match when they weigh in. I've always joked before that these debates should be sponsored by like Life Alert and Insure and Crocs, <laughs> right? Sponsored by Life Alert and Visiting Angels, America's favorite home care. I mean, it should be, right? What's your life alert number? I mean, they should just, you know, just put it out there. Sponsored by Internet Explorer. Life alert. Just saying. I, June 27th. How long do these debates, what do they think it'll be an hour? Because they haven't said anything about the time. He can't go past an hour. Do you guys think he can go past an hour, Biden? No. They're going to have to dope him up. You're going to have Hunter back there. Like giving him hits off his pinky. That's what's going to happen. That's what it's going to take. That's what they're going to have to do.